tomorrow begins the final leg of what I think is the ultimate gas station tour. I'm setting out to achieve something that no one has ever accomplished. I'm on a mission to visit every single Quick Trip location here in the Midwest. That's over 877 stores altogether. And what's better is that we'll all be done on my motorcycle. Good morning. Day two of the final leg. I got a solid three hours probably three hours worth of sleep and I was like it's 6 30 in the morning I need to move let's keep going hopefully I sleep more tonight <laughs> technically I should be done around like 9 30 10 o'clock maybe 10 30 if I figure out my pacing again but I had to keep going until probably about a little after two o'clock in the morning to find a hotel last night and so I spent two hundred dollars for three hours worth of sleep and a shower, so do with that what you will. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm questioning my um, budget right here, but we should be fine. Ate a breakfast sandwich, and now we're on the road. Two more Minnesota ones today. I'm gonna pretty much skirt the bottom portion of the state and then head over to South Dakota. You can't even see my face <laughs> with my head helmet up. Uh, I have been just barreling through these stops in Minnesota here because I was frantic. I didn't get, I didn't leave the whole hotel until like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock. And I was supposed to ten, technically start at 5 a.m. So <laughs> I didn't realize that half of the stops I did last night were the stops that were still included for this morning. So I'm kind of ahead of the game, but I still want to get ahead of the game because you never know what's going to happen <laughs> at this point. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of taking a relaxing, stretching break because I still have so many layers on. I should probably take them off now. It's getting to be nice out, but it's gorgeous in the southern part of Minnesota. I absolutely love some of these back roads. And riding here. I need to come back in the fall for sure. Doing good. Checking in from the Red Wing, Minnesota area. It is absolutely gorgeous up here and I can't wait to come back and explore more. Just even the trails and the bluffs. Oh, I love it. Um, but a gorgeous afternoon to ride. I saw so many bikes on the road and I got to ride part of the Great River Road north that I haven't experienced before and I knew I was gonna love it, but I will, I freaking love it. And I cannot wait to ride the entire thing too. It's been on my bucket list, but I just need to put in some extra PTO time to do it, but still doing good. Ate some mini tacos and a an egg roll, something a little warm for lunch. And we're kind of making my way back down to like Rochester area, I believe. There's a lot over in that area, and I think that's where I'm going to end up for the night. Doing still good on timing. I'm what I had planned to be done for for a certain leg. I am starting the like additional leg afterwards, so I feel like I'm pretty far ahead. But I want to keep this momentum going because I just don't want to risk it and say something happens and I have to fight back that time. Should be good, but... Secretly, I'm just a big kid. <laughs> when I saw these, I was like, alright, we're going to try these with the stuff. But I love these new store layouts that have this spot here. This has been my favorite place to warm up, relax when it's cold out, just to take a load off and so I found this sweet <laughs> Cheeto trailer. I was like, oh, this would be a good backdrop. Uh, checking in since this afternoon, there was just something inside of me that was like tunnel vision, and I just kept knocking out location after location to the point where about a half an hour ago I realized like I was fading fast like I was getting super fatigued I was like nope we gotta call it <laughs> so I located a hotel I got my room I picked up one or two 
more stops because I grabbed a take home meal. So I'm gonna have some meatballs, mashed potatoes, and corn. Super excited that they have those options because I love the hot food grab and go but when I can sit down and eat something I'm super excited to do that so then I also grabbed the raspberry chimichanga for dessert because you know what I'm not riding anymore tonight and I would like to have a full stomach so we're gonna enjoy dinner get an early bedtime and hopefully eight hours of sleep would be fantastic for my end of it and then just start up again tomorrow yeah I'm feeling the effects of the three hours that I slept this morning. <laughs> Just know your limits and don't push them. And this is one of those parts where I am way ahead of the game. But I also need to play it safe. Not like that guy. That looks delicious. I might have got a lot more than what I thought I could eat, but I'm probably gonna eat it all anyways. <laughs> If you could smell this right now, it smells so good. I realized that my pocket is completely empty and I was like, oh my god, my gift card that I've been using to do all of these check-ins like flew out. I swear the best sunsets are always after a rainstorm like look at this quick start right now <laughs> 